News Radio 700 WLW. All right, back with Eddie and Rocky. And Rocky, here about, you know, people talk, well, we're, we're in a recession or not, but then you hear housing definitely in a recession, home buying, home well, selling. I, I actually hear about it every day from you because you talk about how a year ago you wanted to sell your house and you should have, and that's when, remember, people were getting just crazy That was the thing. Numbers. And exactly, man. Now, uh... From what you've told me, uh, you probably won't be able to get that amount. You could, probably could have gotten a year, well, year and a half ago. That, it was one of those things where we kept, and anybody in a situation like this knows what I'm talking about. You waffle, do we with this where we raised our kids? The kids are out of the house, uh, but we love this place. It's our home. We've been here and none and none and none and on. Then by you the, exhaust your side hell with by, it. Right. Yeah. By the time you waffle around on that stuff and start looking at places, we did that. But then we're like, no, maybe we shouldn't move. I uh, want to have, have the kids come and visit us. Bring our grandkids here. Like that's like twenty years from now. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. No, but um, but yeah, those. It seems like the time to to sell was a, a while back. You know, interest rates rising, the whole deal. So, well, let's talk to a guy, our uh, real estate expert in this matter, GP Therio. Welcome to the program. How are you, sir? Hey guys, I'm doing great. How are y'all? We're doing great. So, am I wrong there? Did I miss the boat by not selling my house, or is there still, uh, you know, is there light at the end of the tunnel on this? What's going on? You know, man, that's that's a great question. And the quick answer is, you know, what you're hearing, you probably did. You're not going to get those crazy numbers that we saw, you know, six to eight months ago. But what I'm what I've been telling you know clients and people out there that do I sell now? Look, the market is shifting, meaning. We're getting back to the normal. I mean, these prices were crazy, but depending on geographical areas, I mean, there's still some people out there that are paying these crazy prices. You know, here in Texas, we're seeing, I mean, if, it, if it's priced right or in a certain area, I mean, people are going to pay it. But, yes, it is starting to go down for sure. Uh, and part of the reason it was up uh, a year or more ago was was demand was up. What, what is this, what is the demand right now? Is it the same? Is it less? Or is it the demand is still there? It's just that the the rates are now higher that discourage people. You're absolutely right. So we've definitely seen a dip where because rates have gone up, so it's scaring people. Like you know that let's say that three hundred thousand or that five hundred thousand dollar house that they could afford when the rates were down, well, that's out of their budget now. And so it's definitely has put, you know, a, a soft stop, meaning it's not nearly as aggressive where, oh, no, properties are, are not selling in 24 hours. They're actually selling in, you know, a week or two weeks or three weeks now, which, again, that's back to the norm. That's, that's a normal kind of transaction of what it takes to sell real estate. And that's – and and GP – we're talking to GP Therio here – is that – People were uh, so you know, hearing about that, where there were bidding wars for houses and all that stuff. You were getting whatever ten percent above asking price and crap like that. Now that's just not happening. It's not now. The sellers kind of have a little bit more leverage. I mean, literally, the sellers would have to pay for everything. I I had a guy uh, that offered his season tickets to the Dallas Cowboys. I mean, who does that? That's how crazy it got. But really? now, um, <laughs> you know, there's, yes, I, I couldn't believe it. A, a real estate agent told me that. I was like, that's how bad they won the home. I mean, it, it, that's how crazy it got. But now, um, you know, it's it's definitely, it's kind of, it's, it's a, kind of a death still because you got the sellers that still want those crazy prices, but then you got the buyers that know they have a little bit more leverage because these properties are sitting longer. So that's why you're kind of seeing Property's not moving fast. It's kind of that tug of war right now. I, I guess on, on one area, if you're a seller, it, it's not good. But if you look at it the other way, if you're a buyer, if you're someone who's, you know, it, you always wanted a, you know, a, a retirement home or, a, you know, somewhere like that, you know, something like that is now kind of the time to maybe get that cabin on the lake that you've always wanted or something like that. Yeah, you know, absolutely. I think now is the time to get in the game because so many people are sitting on the sidelines. One, because rates are going up. Um, you know, it's the unknown, that word recession. Are we in a recession? Do I buy a home? Is it a bad time to buy real estate? I personally, I've been doing this for 20 years. I, I think it's always a good time to buy real estate um, because, yeah, it, it's a long term. You know, you're always going to make your money. 
So right now it's time to buy because as rates, rates are going to come down. And when rates do start coming down, everybody's going to jump back in. So what I've been telling my clients, fall in love with the home, but date the rate. Meaning you can always refinance that rate to a lower rate when the rates do come back down. So let me ask you, JP, how long do you think this uh – this rate, obviously, the rates, the recession, and all the talk about and inflation, and on and on and on. How long do you think this is going to last? When do yeah. the rates start to drop? Man, that's a great question, and I wish I could give you an exact answer. You know, right, yeah, I, of course, I, we all know, want that. But yeah, but you know, honestly, you know, if you look at the data, you know, if you go back and and, and if you look at all the recessions we've had back, you know, not any one. Recessions is actually a good thing for the housing market, which sounds crazy. If you take out 2008, um, which that had to deal with not the homes but bad loans, people were buying homes or getting homes that had no business. Those were that, that are, the mortgage industry is what ruined that at that time. Now, if you see it, um, you know people have so much equity in their homes right now, and, that, and that's a plus right now. But rate wise, I mean, I'm hearing. I mean, we could see rates. I really think we could see rates in the next 24 months. I think two years or less, you're going to start seeing. So if you fight through this storm, get, I still encourage, if you're considering to buy real estate, buy it. Don't hesitate because real estate is still the number one thing to continue to build wealth and just get in the game. But you've got to have a strategy and a plan. You've got to know what you're getting into, and that's why it's important to talk to a professional, someone like me uh, that's been doing it for a long time where we have good strategies to make sure, is, does it make sense? Is this the right time for you to get into home ownership? So, GP, in other words, here's the reason I, I wanted to talk to you. And I'll do it off the air because Rock uh, is saying, you can't come here and talk about your personal situation <laughs> and air it out on the radio. Hmm. But uh, I, I would, <laughs> and I, I'm sure a lot, a lot of people would love to have a one-on-one -on -one with you just like me, but you know, it's it's good advice. If you're going to sell, sell. If not, you're sitting there waiting, which is my case. Just don't do it and do what you're going to do. It, every it, It's case by case. I mean, there's so many situations. We're dealing with people that are taking full advantage of their equity, right, that, that need the equity, even if it means refinancing. Right now, I had a, a client that uh, had that all-star rate at 3%. But he had so much equity, and he had kids in school, and just the debt is just built up. People get so hung up on the interest rate. If you look at the bigger picture, if it if it fits your needs, where you're not having to sell your house or pull the equity out, and we're able to save you still over two thousand plus dollars because you're taking advantage of the equity and leveraging that, it's great. Same deal with selling. I mean, do you sell now? You know, it, it's flattening. I think I think we're going to get back. You know, the depreciation values were crazy these past two years. They were in double digits. The average appreciation value of a home year to year is anywhere between four to six percent. All right, with that GP, we will let you go. I'll give you a call, and you can give me All a right. personal advisory situation. Please and, do so. I don't have to hear it. And, 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 and I hope it's uh, <laughs> and I hope it's gratis. <laughs> GP Theorio, thanks so much, man. Well, hey. Thank you, guys, and, you know, we have a good time over here at GP Terrio. And we, if you look at my name, it's spelled like the riot, and we have a riot over here helping people get home real estate. All right, buddy. Love it. Thanks a lot.